I tell you, no, no, that's not, first of all, it's not true. Because, uh, of course, we have a quite complicated relations and history with Russia. But this history is history. And Poland, especially in the last 25 years, was absolutely ready to have the best uh, political, economical relationship with Russia. Unfortunately, some things um, happened. The first, uh, the, the plane with Polish president um, uh, fell down in small ends. And it was, of course, it was uh, many of mistakes on the Polish side, but it was some kind of irresponsibility on the Russian side. But that is, that is history also. But the question why, for example, the Russians didn't decide to um, return these pieces of this plane for Poland, that's, that is a good question. No? And I think the first problem is that Russia, in my opinion, is not interested to establish good relationship, relationship with, with Poland. Poland. First. Second, Ukraine is, is, is a crucial case because uh, Poland and I think the West, the Europe, cannot accept illegal annexation of Crimea cannot accept support for Russia, of Russia for um, uh, Eastern Ukrainian separatists because we were from the very beginning supporters of sovereign, independent Ukraine. And today Russia is uh, destroying this independence, is destroying this sovereignty. So I think if Russia will change the politics, if Russia will start to understand that uh, uh, Ukraine is a sovereign country that is necessary to accept this new architecture of the world, what is very difficult for Russians, because still they think in many elements in very imperialistic style. They think that post-Soviet zone is his, is his Russian zone, etc. It would be, it will be very difficult to change this, this situation, but, but we are ready to do it. Uh, I don't know how much new Polish government is ready to do it, but myself, when I was a president, I spoke many times. We need the closest relations between Russia and NATO. We need the closest relations between the uh, European Union and Russia, but we cannot accept that the, the, the price for these relations will be, for example, independence of Ukraine. We cannot accept it. Do you expect some change in the Russia policy to Poland uh, until uh, Putin is on the power? Uh, in negative sense? Maybe positive sense. No, in positive Maybe. sense, we had such highlight of this, uh, let's say, positive uh, Putin's approach was uh, uh, first of September um, 2010. No, no, 2009, sorry, 2009, uh, because it was the um, uh, anniversary of the beginning of World War II. Uh, yes, yes. And he was in, in Westerplatte and the place when the war started. And his speech and his uh, letter to Polish um, people um, um, uh, published in some Polish newspapers was very positive. Unfortunately, very soon after that, because we are speaking about September 2009 and 10th of April 2010, we had this um, uh, tragic crash and of the plane Smolensk. And I think after Smolensk, the relations between Poland and, and uh, Russia are you, really frozen. Do you think, do, you, do the Polish think that uh, Russia really involved in this crash? No, no, I don't think so. I think it was uh, Many mistakes, and Many mistakes, some yes. of them were also on the Russian side. For example, why they didn't close the airport in Smolensk during such fog? This is a good question. No, I, I tell you, that's that is something what uh, looks like a miracle because today the relations between Germans and Poles are very good. It was, of course, result of many efforts uh, of politicians, of uh, bishops, cardinals, uh, intellectuals, um, uh, artists, etc. Then, of course, uh, we have a long border with Germany. Then we have 40% of Polish export is going to Germany. If you will buy one day German car, I, I tell you, even 20% of the elements in this car are produced in Poland, are made in Poland. So I think today, uh, and especially last year, this political cooperation between Poland and Germany was very close. What will happen now is a good question. I hope that new government, probably without such enthusiasm like previous government, but they will continue good relations with Germany because we need it, Germany need it, and especially Europe need it. So you can say that uh, 
Poland and Germany overcome the, uh, the negative yes, stuff. Yes, yes, so, but uh, it was, it, it, it happened not so, that uh, yes, yes, without effort. It was a result of, of many, many, I tell efforts, you, yes. many efforts, and especially, you know, in the politics, you know. Germany accepted and supported us very much on the way into NATO and European Union. And can you imagine the two old enemies, like Poland and Germany, finally we are in the same political and military bloc, like NATO. That is a big change. And of course what is funny, that in all kind of uh, football, um, um, uh, not on teams, but, but um, these um, competitions, yes. we are fighting with Germany. Now, in the we were in this pre-qualification to European Championship together with Germany in the one group, and now in, in France we'll play against Germany again. Okay, yes. That is our <laughs> destiny, that is yes, something yes. that is... All right.